Hey, Demi, can I have a minute? That is something I appreciate about you, Captain. You know I will do anything you ask without hesitation, yet you still address me with proper etiquette. Unlike my previous Captain. That fuckwit Tibble doesn't exactly set a high standard to meet. <laughs> but thanks. How may I be of assistance? You think the fuckbots are getting dangerous enough to flip this galaxy arse over tit? I would surmise so. Only one year after the first confirmed raid, the fuckbots have managed to rapidly spread across every nebula. The Imperium is struggling to successfully control their expansion. Speaking of mechanical perverts, how are you getting on with Dalek? Mr. Dalek's capabilities are... exceptional. He is able to fully diagnose and understand complex systems issues of the Mary Celeste within seconds and find a solution simply through intuition alone. Remarkable for an organic. However, I do wish he would stop offering to upgrade my chassis. I've already told him several times that my outlets are capable of self-maintenance, and he is not licensed to work on Apex Industries models. Regardless, he is rather insistent that I pop my hood so he can have a good look inside. <laughs> right. I'll have a word with him. And maybe you could do me a favor and deal with fortune? Concerning what, Captain? I don't suppose there's a way you can block her out of your system so my own mainframe doesn't end up bloody killing me? That would be impossible, Captain. She has installed a rootkit deep inside my firmware that cannot be removed. Also, I would like to make you aware that this conversation is technically bugged. Wait, is she listening to us right now? Not at this very moment. However, she can access my memory banks at any time. Incidentally, do you recall asking me to begin recording our fuck sessions for your Ultimate Vag Slam compilation? Of course. We're up to Volume 3. Fortune connected to that segment of footage two weeks ago for a few seconds, then disconnected. Then she reconnected for nearly one minute, disconnected, then reconnected again for approximately ten minutes while skipping around the segment. Perhaps she was searching for something. Oh, that dirty bird! I do not understand. Never mind. What about Lily? I'm still not sure I can trust her. That is strange. You do not trust her, and yet you fucked her? In fact, you fucked her a lot. Too true. But she seems to have, um, uh, uh, ulterior motives? Ulterior. And I do agree. While Dr. Margulis appears to be rather... friendly, a simple psychological profiling detects the presence of anger, regret, and deep internal conflict. Her constant need for stress relief in the form of gigantic alien cock does seem to support that assessment. It looks like we're on the same page as always. As always, Captain. I am a heavily modified Apex 17 series combat. Serial number D19M445. I specialize in navigation, maintenance, tactical naval combat, communication, and translation. I also have a generous intelligence suite featuring such plugins as ALL or Adaptive language learning, which allow me to customize my vocabulary over time to match my crew. A bit glitchy, that one. I never expected to hear a mainframe say, Massacre my fucking cervix. My apologies for any further irregularities. The Mary Celeste is what you solars would call a... Bitchin' kick-ass piece of hardware. Her
Her durasteel alloy hull, coupled with the auxiliary shield generators, provide a level of protection not afforded to most frigate class vessels. Her robust cargo bay is ideal for storing hazardous contraband during long distance smuggling sorties. Also, she is one of the fastest ships on record in her category, with warp drive recharge rates that are, dare I say, off the charts. However, the most impressive facet of the Mary Celeste has to be her stealth drive, which, of course, is extremely illegal under Imperium law. Yeah, I may have juiced the old girl up a bit. I am still amazed you found such a remarkable craft drifting through space without any crew or manifest on board. You were right to invest so many resources in restoring and upgrading her. Any clue where the Mary Celeste came from? The archives were long erased when I came on board. She is likely a custom prototype, commissioned in secret. I have no other viable conclusions outside of that. Were you originally designed to, you know? Bow chicka wow wow. Captain, what does that strange melody signify? Fucking. Oh, no, I was not. My pleasure suite upgrade was ordered by Dreadlord Tybalt. I am eternally grateful that you found me before he had the chance to test it. You have any pleasure protocols I haven't tested yet? There is one thing. Since you are a massive pervert, I should inform you that an application called Slut Mode is integrated in my programming. However, Slut Mode is incredibly unstable. Activation without proper debugging could lead to permanent damage. Damage to your systems? No, I mean permanent damage to the genitals of everyone on board. Huh. I think we'll let that one sit for a while. I believe that is a wise decision, Captain.